Okay, this is insane. So this screen that looks like ChatGPT is actually running in my local machine. And we are not talking about just, right, not just the UI. This is also running the LLM model in my local machine. So um, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about this setup, all about how you can have a completely local and private um, LLM setup that, yeah, that you completely own. You don't need any cloud. You don't need any um, API keys. And the most insane thing about this thing is that it even runs on a MacBook Pro, so you don't even need that NVIDIA GPU. But if you have an NVIDIA GPU or AMD GPU, it's going to be even better, even faster. And yeah, um, in this video, you will see how everything is connected and how you can install every single piece. Hey, everybody, I wanted to make a really quick video on something that is really, really cool and just now recently made possible because of the release of the latest model from NVIDIA, Nemotron 3 Nano. Um, this thing that you're seeing here that looks like ChatGPT, this is Open Web UI. It's a UI for you to run your own models or models that run locally. And yeah, we're talking about me talking with a model that is 30 billion um, in size that used to be super, super slow um, on a MacBook. And now I just get like responses of like 100 tokens per second. So this is very, very smooth. So let me just put it to the test. If I just say, hey, who are you? This is what I'm getting. Even with the thinking mode enabled, like I just got like the answer in, in what in, in one or two seconds. Uh, I can just tell you, tell, yeah, what specific task can you help me with? And now we're going to get like the thinking. And yeah, this is a really, really intelligent model. So um, this model in benchmarks is crushing it. <laughs> of course, benchmarks um, comparing it against other smaller models and um, the GPT OS um, open source model from OpenAI is a bit better. And, and it's, yeah, active 3 billion. So this means like um, it's a mixture of experts. So it's a bit complex, but um, what happens is that in reality, you have more or less the speed of a 3 billion uh, parameter model. Of course, there are other things that made it even faster, like using Mamba and so on. But yeah, um, super, super cool. Um, you get, yeah, all these answers, amazing. And it's now the first time that I'm properly using all, that I'm taking all the advantage of um, uh, Open Web UI, which is an amazing tool to just, yeah, run models in your machine. So this means that you can, you don't need to worry about privacy. You don't need to worry about data and the conversation that you're talking with because this data doesn't leave your laptop. It's incredible. And we're talking about, uh, my, my MacBook is like one kilo and, <laughs> and it runs all these things, right? So this is more or less what, what I have here. I want to just, sh just show you a couple of things and just tell you how you can get installed. So you can install this thing and get it started and, and use it. And, and just for you to understand it, right? Like this that I'm running right now is the UI um, for, for just like a ChatGPT UI, but you could use the same setup that I have here to run your own applications. Um, it could be launching applications or whichever uh, framework you use for, for building agents and, and LM apps, but you don't need to rely on external um, on external APIs and, and cloud the whole time. Now you can use a really powerful model like NVIDIA. There are also some really powerful models from Quen that are open source. And everything, yeah, is made possible because of um, these two things, right? And, um, Olama, which I've talked about many, many times um, in my videos, and also LM, LM Studio, I think, is particularly cool for running models in MacBook Pro, so, so in, in, in macOS, because um, in LM Studio, which is this, if you haven't seen it, uh, you have the option of selecting the MLX format, which is a format specifically. So these are, these are formats for LLMs that run very, very efficiently on Apple Silicon, on, on, on metal. And it's a slightly bit faster. Um, and so the performance is slightly bit better uh, compared to the GUF, which is a standard and, and this, uh, what you will see on all the models that you see on Olama. So this makes it possible. So this is me running Nemo, Nemotron 3 Nano, right? Um, it only well, it only weights uh, 16 gigabytes because it's uh, quantized for to four bit and is yeah formatted on MLX, and it's just incredible and just how how quickly you can run all these things, and you can either um, run it directly in LM Studio or use LM Studio as a server. And then as a server, yeah, you connect it uh, to the to the front end, not to Open Web UI. But 
same thing happens here. So you can select the model uh, directly in the UI from from Lemon Studio, and you can um, you can talk with the model. So you just need to wait a couple of seconds until it loads. Once it's loaded, it's here. Hey, hi. So this is uh, hey there, and yeah, ninety tokens. Let's just say, tell me more things about yourself. And look at this, it's just so fast. It's so cool. And this is 85 tokens per second. I'm, I'm was getting like a hundred. And then something that I uh, that I saw that is really, really cool is that you can enable and disable thinking. Um, so if you say hey, enable thinking uh, now, um, but who are you? Let's say, but who are you really? Let's just challenge the model. Now it's thinking, right? And we see the thinking traces here. Um, this is so cool. <laughs> Let's be real. I'm not a person. I'm a language model. This is amazing. The truth, no laugh. I'm software. So this is a very powerful model that is running in my MacBook Pro. It's amazing. So the, the levels of, uh, yeah, of how <laughs> yeah, it's advancing. I, I really like this path of, um, in open source models and, and just being able to completely own everything. So yeah, this is this is it. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you is um, how then you can uh, use it as a service. So you gotta go on uh, this uh, tool. So in this tab, developer, then start the server, and this is gonna give you yeah a couple of um, couple of things. But yeah, if you go with the default, is serving the model at the port one two three four, and the only yeah and this opens up uh, the OpenAI API um, kind of a standard. And then with that, you just need to go to Open Web UI. Um, so the Open Web UI that you ha gotta have running in your uh, local machine. Then you go to um, the admin panel. Then you go to uh, settings, connections. And here you set, uh, you just set a, a new connection to be with the port 1234, which is the port of um, LM Studio, as I showed you before. And then once you do that, then you're going to be seeing all your models or, or your Olama models, as well as your LM uh, Studio models, because by default, it connects with Olama. So this more or less just puts it all together. And let me briefly tell you about the installation, but I'm going to leave links below for everything. But LLM, so LM Studio and Olama, you have both the options to brew, install it in macOS, but you also have their um, website, lmstudio.ai.download, and you can download it for any platform that you need. Once you have that, then it's just like any other um, application that you have. And as I saw you before, you're going to need to go to the developer tab to enable the server. And the other piece of the of the puzzle is uh, Open Web UI. In Open Web UI, you have an amazing documentation as well. I'm gonna leave down. I'm gonna leave it down in the description below. And the installation that I'm waiting for um, is the Docker installation. You can also directly install it with UV. Um, and I think there are even other options. But yeah, my preferred one just to have everything neatly packaged and containerized is gonna be Docker. And I went for this option that installed a slim version of it. So even um, even a smaller one because it doesn't uh, it doesn't have any models with it. So I just rely on the models that I provide via Olama and uh, LM Studio. And yeah, you just directly copy paste this thing, open your favorite terminal. In my case is Gusty. And then you just paste that on the terminal and you just click enter. Uh, maybe something that you want to maybe change is the port in which you are exposing uh, Open Web UI. So that is 3000 by default, but maybe you are running your React application there. So you can just change that to 3001 or whatever you want. And then uh, once you have it there, in my case, it's 3000. You click enter, it's going to load everything the first time. And once you have it, you can just directly go on localhost and it's going to open Web UI for you. And finally, as for downloading the models, you have a Nenmotron 3 Nano in Olama. So you just need to copy paste this thing, go again on the terminal and just paste that. It's going to download the models. And for the loading models for LM Studio, which is just my way of, of running um, Nenmotron in this case because of the MLX acceleration, you have this search or the discover bar here. And you can see as well, like in Olama, the popular models uh, on top. Here, yeah, Nenmotron 3 is the most popular one right now, but yeah, you can just look for any model like Gemma model from Google. You have the Quentry models that are really, really good. You also have them here. So 
yeah, same thing as in Olama. In models, you have um, all the models here for you to browse. And if you got to this part of this video, I would appreciate it a lot if you can give it a like. And also leave me a comment below just telling me what are the things that you are the most interested about that maybe you want to you want me to cover in, in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.